Welcome back to Nerim. I am Kreatir and I'm continuing the uh, mopping up of places I haven't gone yet. Uh, I saw this place from the glider on the way to the um, that tower. Uh, let me just put on a quest that doesn't have any uh, quest marker. So there is a conjuration tome in here. And that's really all I know. One feather spell is not enough. Oh, and I'm almost dead. Let me have a potion or something. Ah, and it lags so much on accessing the inventory the first time. Because I have so much stuff. Um, thinking a. A couple of standard potions should do the trick. Okay. guess that the iron fire holes would have so much fire inside them. <laughs> Not me. Uh. Oh? No, that's not a new place. Oh, I heard something. I kicked something. Oh, it's just a pickaxe. Writing on the stairs, on the steps. It looks like Norse runes, but it's. I can't make out the text. Not that I can read runic alphabet anyway.
Oh, they have stuff now. Iron ingot. Well, I guess that's useful. Animal rank and bird. I should have unloaded before coming here, but I didn't. Uh, feather, I think. They can be kind of oblivious. Case in point. That's certainly nice. This reminds me of a number of other mines I've been in. And I'm over in Cumberland. Which feather <laughs> effect expired? Probably the spell. This the way I came in? No, it's not. This does not look familiar and the game froze. Yep, game froze. And just had to wait a minute or so for the game to actually finish crashing so I could relaunch it. Ooh! Is that a bottomless pit? Fall into the pit before I can loot your body. Thank you. Alright, now, is this pit bottomless? No. There's thorium here! I thought you had to go to the south room for that stuff.
Ah, oh, can't reach. Must have thorium. Is there a way to reach it or? the other way first. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done the first way first. if I was ready to level or not. gonna have a peek at my uh, skills uh, yeah I'll have a plus three in agility uh, it'll do I guess I can't be bothered to grind right now and um, the uh, message about level up pending is just so persistent that it's annoying to walk around with. So I'm just gonna take my plus three and my plus one and my plus one. And be over encumbered again because the potion wore out. Also, 125. 135 because the more <laughs> fatigue you have the better your spell casting uh, it really just feels wrong to call it fatigue because fatigue is the opposite of what it is but This looks deadly. <sighs> oh my. Oh! Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. 
This place is terrifying. It's like the... second my cat wants to come in Encumbered. Oh, there's the book. Golem, rank six. Uh, I have rank six magic, don't I? Probably can't summon it because my conjuration skill is too long. Let's see, Arcane Golem. Oh, it requires 75. Since I have one increase in blade, maybe I'll go with 
strength next level. So I should punch more things. That's fine. I have plenty more. just too slow with hand to hand. I'll reserve that for lesser creatures. Fifty learning points. Clearly I missed something somewhere. See, I can also actually read these tomes. Now I can actually summon one.
the game froze again. And back from the autosave. to wonder if maybe it's freezing on autosave sometimes because this is the second time it seems to put me right back where the game froze exactly where it froze If you like mining, this is the place to go. Short sword, teleporter, and firebank, firebite rank six, potion of encumbrance, bow of sparks, and a magic symbol, and some gold. Yeah, I'm at the end of the game, and I only just now got over half the magic symbols in the game. There is so much I didn't find. My first time playing Androl, I finished a game at level 49 and I had found less than half of the ice claws in the game. Don't remember how many magic symbols, but feather. Seems kind of tough. Let's scan him. Level 35. Doesn't hit that hard. good stuff. Yes, I'm just gonna take all of that.
broke my pickaxe again, I think. Yep. the way out, but what about the uh, smeltery? Smith. In this sword, I documented my research about the soul blades, weapons full of ancient magic. The soul blades were forged in the Iron Fire Halls. A council of Eterna starlings and humans together developed a magical technology that enabled the storing of souls within a weapon. The council was commissioned by the soul blacksmith. He was the first shadow god of Vin. Or the first one recorded in history. After weapons were created, the Shadow God died for unknown reasons. Allegedly, the Soul Blades are the greatest achievement of mankind. They were the last chance of a civilization that had destroyed their predestination. But what exactly is the problem of pre predestination? Predestination is a construct of control that humanity should. Ow! Cat! Um. Let's see. That humanity should reflect on their grotesque mask. The belief in self-definition and self-rule. It controls the man, but leaves him the illusion that he can end control and rule himself. That is not possible. When I was a young, naive, deluded fool, I thought I had myself under control and could achieve with enough willpower and dedication any goal that a man could have. But does mankind know in our hearts that we have no power neither over our lives nor our destiny. We can try and with enough effort we may be able to achieve some things if we are left lucky enough, but underneath we know that anything unforeseen can ruin all our plans and hopes and moments. The fear makes us do the opposite. We do anything we can to escape fate. The creators of predestination knew that very well. They knew the unstable qualities of people. They were those people who felt their powerlessness and persisted in it so as not to provoke any setbacks. They choose to do nothing because of the fear that they could fail. Those are people who lose this game. Shadow gods are usually different. They choose the active form of coping. The pursuit of brilliance, glory and domin domination. Man fought with all his might to be powerless. Do not give up. As if that would release you from a curse. The answer had been so simple all along. You could have just accepted not always being able to be the master of your destiny. The characteristics of the soul blade seem to be directly related. This urge for self-perfection could, on closer inspection, prove to be self-destruction, which is only really unleashed after the end of predestination. Supposedly, the soul blades prevent the urge for perfection and keep humanity from their perfection so that its order does not lay in ruins. The first shadow gone in history broke through the perfection of humanity. I've just no idea what that means. How can weapons save a civilization from perfection? And why, sh and why should they? The soul blades can save souls, but what else? When I went sitting through ancient wreck sifting through ancient records i hate that font it, you can barely tell f and t apart i repeatedly stumbled upon myths about ancient old devouring soul collectives that want to bring all civilized beings to their ultimate goal what does that mean a kind of collective consciousness of humanity and how do that and how do that soul blades protect against this are they our guardians or 
do they just prevent us from achieving our ultimate perfection? Or do they protect us from ourselves? Why? Because man was too cowardly to surrender to control. Because man needs something to fight. Because humanity defines life through sorrow and suffering. Hmm. Huh. That's heavy armor. Too bad. Kind of nice enchantments. Soulsmith's Mask. Hmm. And a potion of heroes. Ah, cat. Just calm down, kitty. Yeah, I should not fall down there. Can I drop a zombie down there? No. I keep summoning it behind me. Oh, iron ore. I'll take that. Is that all for this place? Or... Ah. Uh-oh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. 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 looks like I might be able to yes get up here and I um, this was a bad idea let me just go back if I can okay <laughs> mm. and I'm over encumbered <laughs> uh. I think that's all we're going to find in here. favorite flower. Uh, 
and that's the border with the South Realm. Can I pass the border now? Yes, I can. Of course, I totally forgot to, uh, they still haven't translated this. Uh, forgot to set a stopwatch, so I don't know how long I've been playing without alt tabbing and looking in OBS, and I don't want to do that. seeing any unexplored map markers though. There's a spider I can go beat up. That's when uh, unarmed attacks start counting as uh, magical for purposes of things immune to normal weapons. Anyway, I'm just gonna end the video here, go and load a bit, and then I'll be back someplace new. See you soon.